All right, let's get going. All right, so um, we'll we'll try to make this uh, um, only about 30 minutes, maybe 35 minutes, um, maybe maybe a little bit longer. But what we're going to try to do is is first go over the the, uh, the retracement setup that we look for, and then I'm going to go over the back testing software that we are releasing. It is all finished, and Gerald has it in his hands. He's wrapping it up, and he's going to be sending it out to all the members that lease the program. What that does, it allows the traders that use the system to realize not only the accuracy of the system, but allows you to customize your um, trailing stop loss, your uh, target one, target two, uh, your stop loss, initial stop loss, to really optimize what you're doing in trading. So let's first of all, let's break this down because I know Gerald doesn't want this as a long, long recording. What we're going to do is this. We're going to go over this today. Gerald's wrapping the system as we speak, the backtesting system. We're going to get that out to the members who are members or long-term members or whoever's a member as of today or so on. So then what we're going to do is, is we're going to come back in two weeks and I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to show you today how it works a little bit. I'm going to show you how to really work the back testing system if you have no clue how to work it at all in ninja trader uh, how to optimize strategies i'm going to show you how to optimize a strategy per market and this works in all futures all stocks all forex etfs options we have traders right across the board inside and outside of our room that use this system so what i've found out over the years. I was a guest speaker um, at the Las Vegas uh, trade show in Las Vegas. We had nearly about 6,000 traders uh, over there and there's two things that traders really wanted. They wanted number one, they wanted transparency to say, hey, not only show me a leading indicator, but number two, let me back test that indicator or strategy over thousands and thousands of trades with my parameters. Let me use what I like to use, meaning my target one, target two, or let me optimize what the best target one is on crude or the S&P or the NASDAQ futures or the Dow or copper or soybeans. And let me know what the best trail is or what the best stop is on thousands and thousands of trades over the last year, two years, what have you. When I was a guest speaker in the Las Vegas trade show, over almost about 6,000 traders, I never met or found one counter trend trader that came up to me that made any type of ticks, meaning money. I, I don't care if they trade stocks. A lot of traders out there trade stocks. There's about 20 some odd percent, almost 25% that trade futures. But a lot of them are trade stocks and they trade ETFs and so on. But mostly a lot of traders are counter trend traders. A lot of vendors out there that are pushing their products and so on are counter trend traders. And what I found is not one actually made any type of ticks. Number two, you cannot backtest your system. So my goal was to find a way with Ninja 8 to not only give you a backtesting system to backtest all my indicators, I mean my methodology, but also to use a strategy to backtest it, but then you can actually have an indicator to plug those in where these automated arrows will automatically pop up for you so there's no paralysis by analysis. Okay, so that's where we're at today. And what I want to do today, I'm going to go over two parts. I'm just going to show you the overall shell, what I'm, I'm trying to accomplish here with you guys and gals, and showing you how traders are making ticks as we speak with these templates right in front of you. Number two, we're getting out a back testing software that Jero has in his hands that's 100% programmed. I'm going to show you the inside of that program in a second and how you can customize arrows to automatically pop for you. Then, number three, I'm actually going to get you a program, an indicator, that you can actually customize the indicator to your style of trading, whether it be looking for scalp or position trading, etc. So what I'm really trying to do is revolutionize how we trade with algorithms. Not only do we have, if you, want, if you want to be a simple trader, 
and say, hey, I like your templates. Get them out to me. I like what you're doing right here. I like your methodology because I've, 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 what I'm trying to do is make it as simple as possible to find the sweet spot in the market, not to within two, three, four, or five bars. I'm going to show you to the exact bar on the exact retracement right here in a second. Then I'm going to take it to the next level. For those that are more sophisticated, I'm going to say, hey, you want to customize and backtest this system and look at every single trade that this system would take according to my parameters, go for it. Maybe I don't have exactly the exact parameters that meet your criteria. Customize it. You want to take another level? I'm going to give you the indicator, customize the indicator that shows you the arrows that pop up when you should be buying or selling based upon your risk tolerance. So that's what I'm going to get in today. The next conference call is going to be for members only. We're shutting this down for the whole public. I can't tell you how many emails I got from this just showing this powerful uh, tech, uh, setup in the room. I've got tons and tons of emails from members, current members, that said, hey, you, you slowed this down for me so much that I'm actually seeing trades way before they happen. I'm not counter trend trading no more. I'm realizing that there's an exact bar entry with the exact stop, first target, trail, runner, etc. That was our goal. When I first started out in this room, I've learned a lot. And the one thing I learned the most is when I first came in and Jiro and I started working together in a partnership on trying to educate traders, is I overwhelmed traders by too much knowledge about what's happening with the market, meaning I, I gave them too much paralysis by analysis. So what I did is I said, hey, and Jiro and I talked about this, let's program all this stuff inside of the charts. When you watch these charts, and I'll show you in a second, this stuff is already programmed into the bar charts. I have a trend filter built into my Renko bars. You can't find my Renko bars on any trading forum. You can't find them anywhere out there. You can't buy them. You can't lease them on any other site. You will have Ninja Trader has his own Renko bar, but if you once you get my back testing software, back test a minute bar with my methodology doesn't work very well. Back test a range bar doesn't work very well. Back test a share chart doesn't work very well. Back back test tick charts doesn't work very well. Then back test my Renko trend chart, and then things start popping. So that's why we did this. We're trying to get traders to a level where they're comfortable with not trying to listen to market noise. We're showing you truly back-tested data with our back-testing software that this software is very, very accurate if you apply your stop loss the correct way, target one, trailing, etc. cetera. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay? So that's our goal. This is educational software. We're educating you what we think the best way to enter these markets at. That's, this is an educational piece. Not only educating you with these setups right now, if you just want to use our templates, it educates you where this market should, any market. I don't care what it is. I can plug and play any futures, any stock, any futures, I mean, I'm sorry, any uh, Forex, uh, any ETFs, any options, doesn't matter. I can do the micros also. Micros are a big thing with traders now. It doesn't matter. It's plug and play. So we can do that, or we can take it to the next level and show you how we utilize this with backtesting and so on. Okay? NT8 only, Jai. Let me give you a little thing before I get started here. We could not do this without NinjaTrader 8. I've had my system lock up in NinjaTrader 6 and NinjaTrader 7 because I got so many calculations going in the background behind these charts. To the average trader and to yourself, you just see a plain chart with moving averages and beautiful candles that are green and red. But inside of that, inside of those candles are a lot of trend filters. And everybody knows I know a lot about Fibonacci analysis. I know a lot about Elliott Wave. It's inside of these programs, inside the program. We built all these sophisticated techniques to find high probability turning points so you don't have to bang your head against a brick wall and try to think, well, 
is this the next turning point? We're trying to put traders with an educational piece of, piece of software that tells you this is the best potential for a possible winner. And if we're wrong, we're going to keep our stops low, and we're going to keep it two ticks above the swing high and swing low. Okay? And we have back testing software to prove, prove it. And that's what's going to separate us from the novice traders to the professional traders. Okay? Let's first go into our templates right now and how let's look at today's trading. All right. And then we'll get into the testing back testing software. Let's look at crude oil today. And I'm not going to cherry pick trades. The one thing I, there's two things I really learned in trading that 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 really resonate with me really well. I bought so much software as a kid in college and out of college because I actually used to work in the soybean and corn industry, meaning I was actually, we, 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 we traded futures, but it was the tangible futures, meaning the delivery of the actual futures. So that was back in the late 80s, early 90s. That's really got me intrigued about futures. But anyway, let's go forward a little bit, is that the one thing I got burnt but the most of is buying lagging indicators, number one. Number two, indicators that repaint. It shows you a great low or great high, and then it breaks through that lower high, and then all of a sudden the indicator repaints, and then uh, it looks like the indicator is a holy grail. I made sure our software doesn't, one, repaint. And number two is that these are leading indicators. These are not lagging by, by any means. You will have a big heads up on any retracement as far as the system goes. You should know the high probability turning point way ahead before it happens. So I just want to tell you guys that right now. I've been through that. So let's look at the trend chart first of all. Let me blow this chart up. Let's take a look at the entire session. In fact, let's look at today's session, yesterday's session. I want to blow this. This is crude oil. Now, a lot of you traders are probably thinking, well, I like to trade off a tick chart, a 233 tick, a 55 tick, whatever. I like to trade up a four range bar, six range bar, or you know, all these crazy time frames. I like to trade off a thousand share chart or 500, 200 share. There's so many time frames, it's crazy. I'm gonna tell you right now, all that's irrelevant. Because if you trade lagging time frames, if you trade a minute chart, that means that price has to tick a whole minute or two minute or three minutes before it even prints a price bar. Do you realize how much action is in between these futures markets? in between that minute or two minute or three minute or four minute, five minute, we're typically out of a trade before the three to five minute mark out of our first contract. So when all these traders are trading off these minute bars, they're subjecting themselves to higher risk. What I like to do is I like to use a long-term trend chart though, and I'll tell you why. Let's take a look at my methodology real quick, and I know Gerald don't want me to be here on here too long. Because in two weeks, we're actually bringing members only back, and I'm going to show you how to do this with the back testing software, how accurate this is. Let's keep things real simple. What do we do as traders? What's my methodology? How do I want to enter and exit the markets? I'm going to be very frank with you right now. A lot of traders like to BS, and they like to tell you a 5 to 10 to 15 to 30-minute speech how they'd like to trade the markets. I'm going, to be, I'm going to tell you in less than five seconds. We are retracement traders with trend, period. We like to buy and sell retracements with trend direction. That's 80 to 85% of our trades. Around 15% of our trades will be counter trend trades, but they will only incorporate, counter trend trades only be incorporated when we use market profile, and I teach traders how to do that. Other than that, we are trying to buy a full or sell, buy or sell full retracements with trend. Let me go over the setup. All right. Let's take a look at this. Let's go to the far. Let's look at yesterday. This is full 100% session, the entire session. I'm not going to BS you guys. I'm not going to cherry pick trades. The system's way too accurate for that. And now I got back testing software. I don't have to talk blue in my face how accurate the system is. It will show all by itself. Even with slippage, you'll see the accuracy when you have it on your own system. So let's take a look. Moving average to me are absolutely worthless. People know that. All traders know that, that have known me. Moving averages are absolutely worthless. They're great for, for trend direction, but not support and resistance. So what I want to do is I have a longer term MA, the magenta, or a lot of traders call it pink MA. 
have a solid white MA there called my intermediate MA, and then I got a smaller MA, which is a small white dashed line. What I want to do is I want to look for full retracements with trend pullbacks. So what this system is going to do is it's going to look for full retracements. Now, what's a full retracement? I have a 10% line down here and I have a 90% line up here. If I come down and touch 10% or if I get below 10%, this is a trade right here too. Hold on, sorry. If I come, let's take a look at this first one. Once I get below 10%, I want to look for if the market's crossed up. I'm sorry, that wasn't crossed up. Right here it is. So as the market gets crossed up on the MAs, the MAs are crossed up, I want to look for a full retracement, a full retracement. Come down, touch 10% or get below it, and then I'm going to look for a green bar. A green bar, you have to remember one thing. A green bar is a positive market delta. I have this built into it already. All right? Yeah, I'll show you, Charles, in a sec. So what I want to do is, is I, as soon as I get below 10%, I want to look for a positive market delta. As soon as it gets below 10% here, Look for a positive market delta. Whoops. As soon as it gets below 10%, and this is early hours in the morning. Here we go. 10% here. See, we're red, 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 positive market delta. There's your little doji there called the move up. As soon as it gets below 10% here, watch, negative market delta. That means more supply, more supply, more supply, more supply. When I talk about market delta, guys, I have this built into our rinket bar, and I have it also on our delta chart. That's the difference between the bid and the ask, sellers versus buyers. All red bars. This is not your standard Rinko bar, not a minute chart, not all this BS share uh, time frames. This is a trend chart. So when I see red candles, it means there's selling pressure. If I see green candles, there's buying pressure. Don't make this difficult. I get below 10%. Green bar. Look at these swing lows are caught. Caught the swing low. Caught the swing low. Caught the swing low. Caught the swing low. It comes back below 10%. I get a big heads up, red, 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 green reversal bar, that's positive market delta, catches the big up move. This one tries to get to a full retracement, doesn't, would have been great though, because look, it's a red, red bar means we're catch, catching counter trend traders, rolling position traders, turns green bar, takes off. Next one gets below 10%, red, 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 green, catches a low. So that was yesterday. Let's go into today's trading, make it a little big for you so you understand this concept a little bit more. You got to be blind as a bat not to realize we're in an uptrend. I got my large MA down here, my intermediate, and my small. My small is above my intermediate, my intermediate is above my large. You got to understand that is buy, 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 bias. But you'll still have these traders on these small time frames using range charts, tick charts, share charts, minute charts. Oh, it can't go any higher. Wrong. The methodology behind this, why it works so good, we buy high and sell higher. We short low and buy lower. And if you don't understand that concept right now, please log out of this trading room and try to buy low and sell high. Good luck. Because I know a lot about the market. I know a lot about retracement trading. I know a lot about market profile. And I cannot even buy the low and sell the high in the market. I do not know where the market's going to go. I do not know the low of the day for the market. Neither do you. You do not know the high of the market. Neither do I. But what we can do is we can buy retracements or snapbacks or rubber bands where we try to get a pullback with overall trend direction. So what we're going to try to do then is if you see this full retracement came at 4.30 this morning. At 4.30 this morning, we had negative market delta, negative market delta, more sellers, more sellers. There's your positive market delta, positive green bar, meaning we got positive market delta. Are we below 10%? You're at a full retracement. Market takes off. Then the market comes back down again. We're in an uptrend. We're not trying to fade the market. We're smarter than our trading opponents. We know not to counter trend trade. We know counter trend traders do not control the market. The market controls the market. The market is not living or breathing, but it will run you over if you try to buy low or sell high. We want to buy high, sell higher, or short low and buy lower. So the market has now set a higher high. What does that mean? Traders are getting scared. Counter trend traders are getting scared. Because they're thinking, hey, you know, this market is going higher, but it can't go any higher, can it? So they're shorting this high up here. You get 
more supply. Negative market delta, negative market delta, negative market delta, negative market delta, more sellers. Market gets into the full retracement zone, positive market delta, caught them, caught them again, catches a low. Then we come up, we try to almost right here get to a full retracement. It would have been a nice buy. You can see the red bar. This red bar indicates we got counter trend traders coming in. I love you counter trend traders. Thank you. Shake their hand if you ever meet one. They know nothing about price action. Here we go. Takes off. No full retracement, so we sit. Comes back down, gets below 10%. 10%, negative market delta. Counter trend traders trying to catch the high again. It can't go no higher. There's no way this market's going higher than thinking in themselves. Yeah, right. Here we go. Smart traders, smart money knows what's up. Negative market delta, negative market delta, positive market delta. Are we below 10%? There we go. Take off again. So right there, three back-to-back -back winners on a larger time frame. What happens? We have a transition in the market. Hold on. We have a transition in the market. Now we have a transition in the market. And I'll show you Charles right here. Now we have a transition in the market right there. Now we have a transition in the market. Now what we want to do is we want to trade, change our bias to what? Right? Charles, we want to change our bias from short or long to short bias. So now what we want to do is we want to get into a what? Above 90%. Now we want to get above 90% and we want to look for what? We want to look for a sell retracement. So now it's positive market delta, green, 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 green. There's your negative market delta. There's negative market delta. Now what we got is we have a transition phase. And this is what Charles is talking about. Now we are transitioning to what? Now I'm a sell bias. There's my transition. There's my full retracement. And I'm above 10% or 90%. Positive market, positive, 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 positive. All three MAs are below it. And there we go. Murph, it's all built into the algorithm. So now what we're going to do is this. We're now what we're going to do is we, going, we are going to look for a what? A negative market delta. There's our negative market delta right here. Negative market delta. At a full retracement, we're good to go. Once again, market's now clearing the downtrend. All MAs are below all three MAs. This is called, I don't want to confuse you guys, it's called a short squeeze. When my smaller MA comes in contact with my intermediate MA and they kiss or they sandwich together like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you typically get a big move down. They sandwich together, they kiss, and you're at a full retracement. And I went over this in the room. I have several videos on this. That's called a short squeeze. That's a squeeze in the market. You get a big move down. They kissed over here. A nice little kiss together, full retracement, pause market delta, short squeeze. Kiss here, my intermediate small together. They kiss together, short squeeze. So my point is, this is a large time frame. Now, this is the whole trading session. Let me, let, let me break this down. Let me scan this down. Let's go back to more on that. Let's go back to three trading days. Let, let me show you. I'm not BSing you on this, how this works. It's unbelievable. All right, so what we got here is we're in an uptrend. You got to be looking at this and saying, hey, if I don't buy, if I sell in this uptrend right here, right, let's go back three days ago and we'll go here, show you guys. This is not just, I'm not trying to cherry pick trades. So you can see all MAs are above each other. We're cranking up. That's a short squeeze right there. They sandwich together, sandwich together, sandwich together. Price takes off, takes off, takes off. So look down here at the retracement indicator, full retracement indicator. Is it below 10%? Pause the market delta, nailed it. Next one, below 10%, pause the market delta, nails it. Below 10%, pause the market delta, nails that low. Below 10%, next one, pause the market delta, nails a low. And like Charles was saying, then we have a transition. Transition is here in the market. Right there. So what do we do? Change your bias. Now I got small, all the MS, smaller MA down through the intermediate, down through the large, and I want to change my bias to short. There it is. Catches the high on that swing high. Now we're selling bias only. Gets above 90%. Catches the high. Gets above 90%. Falls 
falls into the close. Then we go to the next trading day. If you look at this low, the lowest low here and here of the day, the lowest low of the day, it catches the lowest low, but look at this cross up. It crosses through the first buy retracement, catches the exact bar low. Now, that is three trading days of entire full sessions on crude oil. Crude oil, one of the most volatile markets in the world. And i just shown you three back-to-back -back days how this system was simply using trend direction with my trend filter, Rinka bar, with my oscillator below, can do it. Now, like I said, we have backtesting software to prove this, to show you that how well it works. And I want you to do this. I want you to come over. And I want you to look how accurate it is with minute charts or share charts or all these other time frames. Or if you have your own Renko bar, if you have your own Renko bar, look how accurate it is. It's not as accurate as our trend filter. That's why we do what we do. All right, let me show you something else. Now, that's a larger time frame, okay? This is a 9 sim Renko. Let's cut that sucker in half and let's go to a 5 sim Renko. Let me, let me put this back down to this perspective so you understand what I'm trying to do now. All right, so there's today's trading. Let's look at the morning, and I'll show you the afternoon trading also, but let's look at the smaller time frame next door. Small time frame, it's 9 o'clock here, 9 to what? 9 o'clock or 8.30 to 10.30. A lot of you guys trade from 8.30 to 10. It's a great example. The, the small time frames were just like the large time frames. Yes, Chris, you will actually have the indicator that will pop the exact arrows to the exact bar from your back testing. Yep. Or if you log in the room, you can look at it in the room. You got it, bud. Yep. You can customize it just as like you want it. That's why this thing is going to totally revolutionize how traders look at the market. So if I look at a smaller time frame, this is a 5 sim rank. Check it out. I'm at a five, Simrico. See it right here? That's half, almost half of a nine. So I'm cutting my time frame in half. Why is that important? Because if you want to do more trades, you want to do this. You can trade trend trades with nine sim trend chart. The trend's up, right? All the way to 1030. You can see it's strict, straight up. The, the, the transition did not happen until here. All right, so the transition did not happen until 1040. So if I'm a trader from midnight to 1040, for 10 and a half hours or 10 hours and 40 minutes, if you took any shorts, I'm sorry, but you deserve to lose ticks because you're totally going against the overall tone or trend of the market. These are electronically traded markets. My trend filter built into my Rinko bar should call the trend. My moving averages is a secondary indicator that should help you with my trend Rinko bars calling the trend. So if I know that, I can take smaller time frames. So what traders have been emailing me, just watching this in the room, because I've been showing you this in the room the last couple weeks, I got members saying, hey, I love the nine, I love the five, I love the three. I got traders even trading a three sim Rinko with nine sim trend. What do you mean by that? If the nine is up, and they want really small stops, they'll trade off a three sim Renko and look for four retracements with a positive market delta on support or resistance. Let's look at the five. If I look, we've been up all the way to 1030. So at nine o'clock when the pit opened here on crude oil, broke through symmetry dots showing it's going to possibly take off. Look at this full retracement. Full retracement below 10% positive green bar right there. Next one, we don't sell, we're smarter than that. Oops, sorry. Next one, below 10%, nails it. Next one, below 10%, pause the market delta, W bottom. Below 10%, nails it. Below 10%, below 10%. You see my, now, here's the transition. What I say the transition was right here, right? So a smaller time frame, look at the transition. Are we, are we buying? No, 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 my friends. 
We're not buying no more. The large time frame said we are in a transition, like Charles said. Smaller MA across to the intermediate. I want to now look at my five and three sim and say, hey, I'm smarter than my trading opponents. I don't counter trend trade the market. I know that the market is an electronically traded market. I know they like to do trend retracements. So now I'm going to switch gears. I'm going to go from bias long now to bias short. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look for full retracements what? Moving average crosses over. I'm going to look for the first one right there. Look how beautiful this is. Full retracement of 90%. Fibonacci error actually fired. Negative market delta. Thank you for coming to work. Just that trade alone was what? 75 to 35. Over a $500 trade in a matter of 11 minutes. Risking $110. Five, five to one reward to risk because you know what the hell you're doing on the transition. This is how you can use two time frames. You can even go to a smaller time frame if you want. And listen, it doesn't matter what you trade. I can show all markets. It doesn't matter. I like right here. Here's, here is gasoline. Does the methodology change if I'm looking at gasoline? Does it change if I'm looking at the NASDAQ futures? Does it change if I'm looking at the S&P 500, 400, or, or the Dow minis, or copper, or soybeans, or corn? or the Aussie, or the Euro, or British Pound, or the cross pairs in Forex, or if I'm trading Google, or if I'm trading Apple, or if I'm trading an ETF, or if I'm trading an option, OEX option, it doesn't change. You're buying retracements with trend direction. You're trying to buy and sell full retracements. So if I'm trading gasoline, I know right here that I'm smarter than the average opponent, that I know that that's a crossover. I'm going to try to buy this retracement right there. There's your retracement below 10%. Pause the market delta green bar. Thanks for coming to work. Stop loss. Two ticks below the swing low. Next retracement. There it is. Don't make this difficult. Below 10%. My fib error actually fired on this one. Symmetry dots had support. Next one. There you go. Below 10%. Negative, negative, negative market delta. You see how I got big heads up? I get this all the time. Oh my God, is your, is your software a lagging indicator? No. This software is super leading. Because I've got right here below one, two, three whole bars before it even comes. And that's a smaller time frame. Sometimes I'll have a 15 to 20 minute heads up on a larger time frame. Maybe more. Next trade. If I go over here, look how we come down. Negative market delta. Sell, 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 buy, sell, buy, us. Oh, my beautiful market delta. I love you, market delta. Catches the low. Changes. Open it up. Two ticks below the swing low. Does it catch it over here? Yes, it does. So, I mean, this is in a span of, what, a half hour, 45 minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six in a row again. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't. I can put any chart up. It doesn't matter. If you want to look at gold, you want to look at any type of market, it's the same type of setups. It really doesn't matter. Just stick with your bias. You have to stick with your bias. If I'm trading gold and just looking at today's action, then I should be a buyer there. I should be a buyer here, right there to the exact bar. I should be a buyer here to the exact bar. Uh-oh, hold on. Bias changed. Switched over. Don't be a knucklehead. Don't go against the market. Broke symmetry dots, breaking support. Do I want to be a seller? Yes, I do. Seller here, sell the next one. So, you know, you just have to, and it, like I said, I can show you any market. It's all markets right across the board. You can go heating oil, you can go gold, you can go crude. If I'm trading in the morning or the afternoon in heating oil, it doesn't matter. It's the same concept. I'm down. I'm in a downtrend. This is today's action. This is not lagging. Right here, boom, I'm above 90%, negative market delta, nailed the high. Right here, above 90%, negative market delta, nailed the high. We're not cherry picking this stuff. I'll nail any market that you want to look at, boom. Positive market delta all the way up, nailed the high. You're putting yourself in a high probability chance to win. Here we go again, check this out. Went above. When above high, you get my point. 
It's the same exact setups, guys and gals. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. Now, I know Gerald didn't want this as a long conference call, and he's probably yelling at me right now. Let me get to the back testing software. The back testing software does this. All right, let's let's get in the guts of this here a little bit. Uh, the bias are the moving averages, um, uh, the the MAs. Just guard. The MAs are the bi uh, bias. Hey, Bert. Yeah, the YM. Yeah, no, no problem. I'll show you here in a sec. Well, let me show you. Hold on, and then we'll get to the. How you doing, Bert? How you been, bud? Well, what do you? Let me show Bert real quick the YM, and then let me show you how we're gonna do this back testing software. All right, so if I'm trading the YM, it's the same way. It doesn't matter. It's any market. Now, this is a smaller time than five cent, but it's the same same concept, Bert. So if if I'm trading the if I'm trading the YM, then right here is your setups. You know, right there great buy setup right there. You see your full retracement. There's your crossover right here, bud. Hold on. There you go. Right there's your crossover, right? Broke through sim dots. Right here's your full retracement. It doesn't matter what you trade. There's my full retracement here. This is a buy setup to the exact bar. That one. Full retracement here. It doesn't matter. I can pull any market up. Sort of consolidated, then she shot up. So it doesn't matter. If you're looking at downtrend too, Let's try to find you a downtrend. Downtrend here, Bert. It doesn't matter what we look at here. Caught the high. Full retracement. Right there. Right on it. Full retracement. Right on it. Caught the high here. Full retracement. All right, Bert. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what market you're looking at. It's the same exact market. All right? No problem, bud. All right, let's get into because I want to shut this off here in a second. Um, let's test. Okay. So, what you're saying is, okay, this is kind of cool. You're showing me all these charts. It's neat. I like the pretty colors. I like listening to you. You sound like a nice guy. Gerald sounds like a nice guy. Sounds like you guys are doing well for traders. All right. Well, forget all that. Let's actually back test this thing. Let's say, hey, let's put this thing to work, and let's get you back testing software to show you the accuracy of the system. What we're going to do is this. We're getting this software out to you to say, hey, this is uh, crude oil. Is this crude oil? Yeah, crude oil, 1019. This is 7 July 1st to yesterday. July 1st to yesterday. All right. Let's just take a look at this. So what we can do is we can actually... Now this was 80 almost 80% uh, accuracy on trades with a one uh, with a limit order one tick above or below where the market's at when the when the strategy tells you to buy or sell. In other words, if you say if it says order pending and I show traders how to do this, if you hear order pending and you're in a downtrend or uptrend on full retracement, the the algorithm is trying to get short or long the market. Okay, so that's a leading indicator. So it's basically saying it's 80% accurate when it says order pending and you get filled with one tick above or below the market after the market gives you a setup. It, and you can customize this for slippage if you want to go three or four ticks to show you the accuracy, all that stuff. But what I want to show you is this. Let me show you the guts of this thing. What I have, and this is the algo, I already have all the trend parameters built into the algorithm. Okay, all the it's it's what you're looking right now on these features I'm showing you. There's so much more to this thing than that. I'm talking Elliott wave. I'm talking your Fibonacci retracements. I'm talking to all these different features that you don't even realize that's in the back of this because the Rinko bar has a trend filter built into it. But let's take a look how you can optimize this thing. Let me skin this down a little bit. Let's look over to the right. What we can do is I can actually optimize. Do I, I? I like to use the twenty and the I like to use the twenty, fifty, and the eight. I mean, it's no secret those are my favorite three MAs. I like to use eight, twenty, and fifty. But moving averages, if you don't have a trend filter built in, if you don't have a methodology built on a retracement indicator, they really don't work very well. So, do I have the right MAs right here? These are the ones I have on my template already for you guys inside the room. Is it the best type of scenario that you want to use? 
doesn't have to be, okay? You can actually customize this to any time frame of what you want. I have what's called a first cross trade. I can put this to true. What a first cross trade is, is that some of the best trades will happen, and let me show you, when you first cross and have your first retracement. So if I cross right here, if I cross right there, my MA's cross, it's, it's going to provide you an arrow right here at this exact high. Right there. It's only going to provide you with one arrow short. No more arrows will show up until that MA is crossed back up. This is called a first cross trade. Derek, our long-term member, loves this trade. A lot of traders love this trade because it's a first cross trade. So I can back test all my first cross trades all by themselves with any moving average. And you don't think that's powerful until you realize the accuracy it can produce just doing your first cross retest trade. That's just one variable I have built into you. If you want to take all trades on the algo, you can just put that to false. Okay? And you can put this from 1 to 100 to find out what the best MA is on that type of market on the first cross retest trade on the full retracement. Now, I don't want to lose you with members. I'm going to go over this in detail how to do this. But I can find out with any market on the first moving average cross on any market, what's the best moving average to use on any given market in the first retracement, what's the best full retracement to use on any given market at any given time? I can do that with this algorithm. All right? And it shows you me the percentage. All right? This is just an overall stochastic. Stochastic is used. I want to know, find out what the, what the best stochastic is to show me if I'm in an exhaustion point, oversold, overbought area. I can customize this also. I can put any type of number in here. I'll give me the exact number that I need that should be. They'll give me this accuracy of this was just under 80% using this technique. But it will show me what exactly I need to put in there. What are Momo trades? A Momo trade is this. I can put this to true. What a Momo trade, I wanted to add this to the algorithm for this for back testing is this. It tells me when you have a high probability of a blow trade. And I'm going to go all, over all this stuff with you members. It's a very sophisticated system. This right here, my friends, is a Momo trade. And Momo trades, I get all giddy about because look at this price action right here. If I have a Momo of 50 right here, it's telling me this thing is going to produce an error right at this level. I'm 20, not 20. I'm sorry, 20. Because it's staying above my 20 with my trend filter. It did not close above my 20, so it will produce an arrow right here. If it gets below this 20 and close below it, it will not produce an arrow because it's not momentum. These are the type of runs you get. So I have that filter for you in the algorithm. All right? You can do true or false on that also on customizing how you want to do it. Now, remember, when I showed you this last, uh, the last month and a half on this strategy, it was based upon no MOMO and no first cross trades. The time frame. You can actually, what I want to do, a lot of traders use, they, they trade early hours in the morning, European, or they trade early in the morning. They want to find out and say, hey, I want to trade from 7.30 to 10.30 in the morning. What's the most optimal setting that I need to see if it's trading from 7.30 to 10.30? It will produce that. You can put your time frame in right here. Okay? Targets. What's the best target to use on crude oil? I put 10 to 15 ticks range and 15 to 200 ticks. What's the best target on crude oil? If I, uh, you know, trailing stop loss, 38, uh, your stop offset ticks, what's the best stop? Is it, I can put one tick above the swing high, or is it better with three ticks? It will show you that. Offset ticks, entry ticks, that means it's a limit order. After my retracement, full retracement comes up, and I get into a above 90 or below 10, and it's going to show me, it's going to tell me if what, type of probability I get if I'm going to get filled one tick above or below once that strategy has implemented a trade signal. And you can put, uh, with slippage, you can fight with anything you want there from one to five ticks and show you what percentages you're dealing with. Okay. Um, offset order cancellation bars. Um, if I don't get filled on limit order, it's going to cancel on three bars. Profit goal. This is more for auto traders. If someone wants to get into an auto trade with us down the road, this is the first phase that we're doing right now 
We are going to have an auto trade program available once traders start understanding how this works where they can let the computer automatically buy and sell for them. I put that in there already for traders down the road because long-term members like Victoria and so on wanted this. I just added it. doesn't really mean anything right now when you're back testing. It's something that for the next level traders, we have it available for them. The delta this is very important. All right, so when we have a buy, a buy signal right here, we have a buy signal. We have a buy signal, and it tells you that's a buy, right? First uh, bar is a positive market delta. I can actually look at a 9 sim Renko, trade off a 9 sim Renko, a trend chart, but what I could do is I can use my stops based upon a smaller time frame, smaller delta. So I can put that to true, and then I can do what? I can put my delta to a 4 delta. So I can use a 4 delta. I can let 9 sim, the trend chart, show me the possible buy setups when the turning points are. In other words, the trend chart, the larger time frame, when it's in a full retracement. But I will let a small time frame pop me in with a small stop. Another great feature we added to it. BAP is best available price. If you want limit orders, we have a best available price. You can put true. It will buy the offer, sell the bid on as far as that goes. So this, you can back test as long as you want. You can go all the way back. You know, this is one month. If I want to back test this, let's go here. I'll just run it for you. And we'll go back test a year. We'll go back to January 1st, actually. And you hit run, and it's going to show you those parameters I just put in. So we know in the last month and a half, it was like 79% based upon those parameters. So I'm going to show you members and so on, on how we can back test this. You can go months and months and months and show hundreds and hundreds of trades how you can customize the indicator. So this seems like a little bit over the top for you guys and gals that are trying to understand this. It's really not. It's really easy to understand. And we're going to have – we're actually going to have um, – we're going to have conference calls on how you do that, how you can customize – your own indicator. But if you want to be very simple, the things I showed you in the first 45 minutes, use our templates. I've already done all the back testing on this, guys and gals. I've blown through so many laptops and computers because I've blown them up already. I pretty much know the parameters that I like to use in the room. The room, the ones I show in the room are really good. If you want to get a really good idea how it works, watch gold, watch crude in the room, and you can see the accuracy of the system on pullbacks. But if you really want to take it to the next level, you can make your own indicator and your own strategy. And I had so many traders that want this that are sophisticated traders or more knowledgeable traders. You run it with it as fast and as slow as you want to go. I've just let you customize your own indicator and strategy. Okay? Based upon my overall knowledge of the system. But we will lock our Renko bars where you cannot get those on your own. They're the key to this system because I got so many ingredients in those Renko bars. They're very, very key. They don't work very good. The system doesn't work very good if you use range bars and all this other stuff. It still works. It still works to some degree, but we're over the top when we start doing using our Renko bars. So do you, use, do you you're sitting around the op, true open on the strategy analyzer? Yes, you can do you can do you can do both, Vicky. You can do it. You can customize it any way you want, any way you want, any way you want, and you can add slippage in there and everything right across the board. Whatever you want to do. My point is, I'm showing you the accuracy, right? I'm showing you this right here. I'm showing you how you can take our templates. What I would do is if if you're interested in our software. And you're saying, damn, I think, I, think, I think Jay knows what the hell he's talking about. This looks pretty good. What I would do is I would get the templates on your own computer and trade a very simple setup. Buy retracements with trend direction with positive or negative market delta, period. Period. We'll get into that down the road, Derek, on private conference calls. We'll get into all that stuff. That's way down the road. This is just strictly getting back testing software to you 
showing the accuracy of the system so you can manually enter the trades. But yes, I've got so much to teach you, man. I got so much to teach you, members. I got so much to educate you about. It's mind-boggling. We we have cutting-edge software that can literally show you when to buy and sell to the exact bar with high-probability trades. News or without news. But it's going to take an education process if you want to build your own indicator. And I will help you do it. But I'm showing you right now a, the best template is a template right in front of you. This template right in front of you. You can either view the room, view our live room, and just look at crude and gold. And then if you want it, if you want this template, it's already set up, draws it set up, or it's plug and play on your own system. But the whole methodology be, be, behind what we're trying to do is I want to take traders trading to another level. I want to show you how we can buy and sell retracements of trend with the overall trend direction to the exact bar with small stops way before it happens. And if you don't believe me, don't believe my word, I'll let you back test it. Because you can just put in the simple parameters of saying, hey, in that algorithm I showed you, you'll go, okay, I want this moving average with only this moving average trend with this full retracement trade that I use in the room with positive or negative market delta, and that's it. Nothing else. And you can see what accuracy just by that simple technique. And if you really want to get into it, start looking at first cross trades. Look at momentum trades only. And then it just, you really take it to another level. Same templates, they work on all, this template right here doesn't matter. Right here, Vicky, let's, let's, let's take a look. If I look at the YM on this large template, let's go through some markets. Make sure you guys got this before Gerald starts yelling at me. All right. So you don't have to be a, the smartest bear in the woods to realize this. I'm in an uptrend, right? Right here. Let's look at the Dow today. There's an uptrend. See that full retracement, Vicky? Full retracement below 10%. Look how just keeping it simple, stupid is awesome. There, right there is your buy setup with positive market delta. Right there. Let's look at the next setup. There it is. Positive market delta. Look at the next setup. See this? See the rhythm of it? Right there it is. Look how it catches the swing lows. And like I said, don't take my word for it. You can back, you, you have back testing software now to confirm this. Don't listen to me. My wife always says, don't listen to me. I've got five kids. Always listen to mom. Happy wife, happy life. That's how it works. Right there. See that? Boom. See that? You think this is just by luck? It's catching all these swing lows? You think we're just lucky? It's just a lucky day in the market. I can show you thousands and thousands of trades like this. Pretty awesome. There we go. Full retracement. So that's a Dow. Does that make sense? 